Welcome back to the channel. So today we will be discussing about the last problem of today's bi-weekly lead code contest maximum score of a node sequence. We are given an undated graph with n nodes the, which are numbered from 0 to n minus 1. Each node has a score associated with it and we have to find the we need to we need, we have to find the well, maximum score of a valid node sequence of length 4. So what is a valid node sequence? Valid node sequence, a sequence of length 4 is valid if there is an edge connecting every pair of adjacent node in the sequence and no node appears more than once in the sequence. So let's try to understand this an example. So this, let's say this is the graph and uh, this top one denotes the score of the associated, the associated score of each node. So uh, one score is 2, 0 score is 5 and so on. Now this is the uh, definition of a valid sequence. Now let's say we take a sequence of four nodes which are not uh, like in which no node appear twice. Let's say we take 2, 0, 1, 2, 3. So this is a valid sequence because adjacent elements are connected. You can see 0 is connected to 1, 1 is connected to 2 and 2 is connected to 3. So adjacent elements are equal and no node appear twice in the sequence, right? So that's where this sequence of 0, 1, 2, 3 is a valid sequence. Now we will, have, we will just find the score of this sequence. The score of sequence will be the sum of scores of every node in the sequence. So the score of uh, the score of 0 is 5, score of 1 is 2, score of 2 is 9 and score of 3 is 8. So total score of this sequence 0, 1, 2, 3 will be 24. Okay, so that's the total score of this sequence. So what we have to do is we have to find all valid sequence, find their score and take the maximum among uh, all such valid sequence, uh, all the scores of such valid sequences. So hope the problem is clear. Now let's try to solve it. Now what would be the very brute force solution that could come to your mind? So a very brute force solution could be to just try every possibilities. So we have we have to take four elements. So let's just take uh, uh, four elements from the given n elements and choose four and see whether they are valid or not. And if they are valid, just take the sum and uh, take the maximum across all the sums. But this will not pass time complexity because here n is very very huge. So if n is uh, 5 to the power 4, so n to the power 4 will surely not, not pass the time complexity. Now you might have encountered the same kind of problems again and again in different forms. So basically you have to choose some elements from a given set of elements. So in previous uh, previous week's contest or previous to previous week's contest, uh, there exists a similar problem where, if to, we, where we have to choose the three elements. So the idea in this kind of question is you have to fix uh, some part of element. So let's say we fix uh, these two elements. So here we are fixing two elements because uh, we can select two elements easily. So we the only condition of choosing these two elements are these two elements should be adjacent. So we can take uh, any of the uh, any of these pairs which are connected. So we can take 0, 1, we can take 1, 3, we can take 0, 2, we can also take 0, 2, 4, uh, 2, 3 and so on. So any of these pair is valid. So what like as with every other question we will try to fix uh, uh, positions. So Again, you can say we can fix this position, we can fix these positions, and we can fix these positions as well. So why are we choosing to fix the middle one only? Uh, the answer is same. Basically, choosing middle one will give you the benefit that you already choose the middle one. Now you can find this one and this one very easily. So this one will be just be all the adjacent node of this element, and this one will just be all the adjacent node of this elements, right? So that's where you are choosing the middle elements. So if you remember previous week as well, we have choose the middle element because uh, choosing the middle element will help us reduce the search space for the next, for the adjacent next elements. So if this approach is not clear, you can rewind the last one minute of the video and uh, rewatch it. So basically what we are doing here is we are fixing the middle two elements and all the possibilities of middle two elements is basically all the edges in the node. So total number of possibilities of choosing middle two element is number of edges. Now we, we have to select this uh, A and B which is like which is not uh, which we have not yet selected. 
so we with like as per the definition of valid sequence uh, every adjacent node should be connected so b should be one of the node which is adjacent to this node right similarly a should be one of the node which is adjacent to this node right so basically what we are saying here is we have chosen this element and now we are choosing only those elements which are adjacent to the right element of this edge and adjacent to the left element of this edge so for example if uh, we have chosen let's say 0 and 1 here then possible candidates for b would be uh, all the neighbors of b so the, all the neighbors of 1 basically uh, we can choose b equals to 2 we can choose b equals to 3 we can choose b equals to 0 as well similarly all the uh, possible value of a would be all the neighbors of 0 so neighbors of 0 are 1 and 2 so we can choose either 1 or 2 for the value of a now you can see you have reduced the search space now let's uh, just see how like now again if you select all such possibilities again right so let's say you choose all such neighbors of uh, this this element and all such neighbors a of the left of the edge then the time complexity would be e into all the neighbors of left element in worst case it can be n and all the neighbors of right element in worst case it, it can again be n so again the complexity would be e into n square so that is also not acceptable right so what to do now so now is the time to apply the uh, feature like uh, apply the also apply some observation so what we have to do is we have to find the maximum score of a valid node sequence right so when will the score be maximized the score will be maximized if you choose a, a neighbor which have the maximum score so instead of choosing all such neighbors you will choose that neighbor which have the maximum score associated with it so uh, in this case uh let's let's assume that uh, uh, you have chosen uh, two or let me just change the color so let's say you have chosen uh, two and three uh, as this two element now uh, for three you have to choose the neighbors so the neighbor of three is just uh, uh, neighbor of 3 is just 1 so you do, you don't have any choice then to choose 1 okay now for 2 you have two choices either you can uh, you have like basically three choices either you can take 0 uh, 1 or 4 right that that's the neighbor of or you can also take 3 right so let's start with uh, take, like you will take what what you will take given a chance what you will take you should take 3 right because the value of 3 is maximum among all the possible candidates so you will choose 3 now you can see if you choose 3 3 will be equals to this right and that's not allowed so then you will try the next possible candidate so basically in this case the next uh, uh, next larger the, the, the or the next smaller score value will be 0 because 0 has the value of 5 so you will just put 0 here and you can see this is valid sequence because 0 doesn't appear 0 doesn't collide with this nor collide with this and that's your answer now here what you are doing is you are taking elements one by one first you have tried uh, putting the largest element let's say a1 and then a1 if you see a1 collides with something else then you will take a2 and if you see a2 collide something else you will pick a3 and if a3 collide something else you will take a4 and so on right now if you keep on trying this this is no way better than trying all the possible uh, neighbors right so what is the point that you, you should stop like you should not try every possible uh, every possibility right otherwise you are not gaining anything so what is the point where you will stop so uh, notice that you have to choose this element right and this element is neighbor of this element right and only condition you need to satisfy is that no node appeared twice so basically you should you have to satisfy that this node is not equals to this 
and this node is not equal to this. That's the two conditions that you need to satisfy. If you have, if you are able to satisfy this, you are done. So, if A1 let's say collides with something, so first candidate is obviously A1 because A1 has the largest value. So first candidate is obviously A1. So if A1 collides with something, then you will pick A2. Now if A2 collides with something, then you will pick A3. Now we are saying that if we have reached A3, we are exactly sure that A3 will not collide with anything because this element can collide with only two elements, this and this. And we are saying that A1 collides and A2 also collides. It means both the collisions have already happened. It means if we choose the next element that is A3, no matter what the collision will not happen. It will be a unique element. So now we have uh, limited ourselves to only selecting top three elements or top three neighbors. So we choose, we will choose top three neighbors of two. We will choose top three neighbors of three and then just uh, uh, apply the same condition like for all the top three neighbors of three and all the top, top two neighbors of two see if the sequence is valid if sequence is valid find the scores and take the maximum so what you have done is you are taking only top three here and you are taking only top three here so total complexity would be total middle is middle two elements complexity is e like there are e possibilities and for the left part there are three possibilities in worst case and for the right part there are the three, three possibilities in the worst case so total complexity would be 9 into e right so that's what the uh, solution is if you uh, don't understand i will strongly encourage to rewind and watch the past three minutes of the video uh, you will definitely understand it now just like a look at the pseudocode to uh, make the approach more clear so what we are doing here is we are calculating top three element uh, for each node that is very simple just iterate over every neighbors and take the top three simple now for each age e we are fixing the middle two elements so what we are saying is if sequence is this four dashes we are fixing this u and v the middle two elements now for each top three elements of u like we have already calculated the top three elements of every node right so we have top three elements of u and we have also have top three elements of v so now we are saying that for each top three element of u denoted by left u for each top three element adjacent to v denoted by right b we will our current sequence would be left u comma u comma v comma right b and we can, we are sure that these four are connected because uh, you, we have selected left u as a neighbor of u and we have selected right b as a neighbor of v and u and v are already connected so all these nodes adjacently are connected only condition that we need to satisfy now is whether all of them are unique or not so we will just check whether all of them are unique if they are unique we will just uh, take the uh, we will find the score and um, max uh, just take the max of the score with the uh, current maximum result that we have so now if this is clear let's just look at the code that i submitted during the contest so this is the function we have just prepared the graph uh, basically for each age i am uh, preparing the graph uh, pushing v to u and u to v because uh, if you remember the graph was undirected now as discussed we have we have finding the top three adjacent nodes so for every node uh, we have we have to find the top three node so how i am finding top three node here is like you can you can use any method here uh, no matter how i am finding here is uh, i am just making a set of all the nodes and as soon as i get something i push it to the set and then pop the first element so for example uh, let's say we already have three elements in the set now fourth element come let's say fourth element uh, let's just assume that first element is five second element is six third element is nine now let's say fourth element come which is eight so eight will come here right so eight will come here now when the set set size is greater than four i am just popping the first one because first one is the smallest one right so that's what i am doing with set so the set uh, I just prepare the set of all the adjacent nodes. Like node is the simple struct that I've made. Uh, I will look at. Uh, I will show you that in a moment. Uh, and as discussed, I'm inserting this all. I'm inserting all the nodes to the set. And if set size is greater than three, I'm just erasing the first element. So once we have top three, 
the rest of the things are exactly similar for each edge i am fixing u and v and then i am iterating over the top 3 of u which is the left of u i am iterating over the top 3 of v which is the right of v and then seeing whether all these four u v left u right v are unique or not so i am just inserting all of them in a set uh, and just checking the size of the set is 4 or not that's the simplest thing you can do and if the size of the set is not 4 it means there is some repeated element so just continue because this is not a valid sequence but if the size of the set is 4 i am just finding the sum of scores of every value and just uh, taking the max with answer now the node structure is very sim simple i am just uh, capturing the index and the value index is basically the large uh, the node uh, index and value is the score uh, and this is the like lower operator basically just uh, who which whoever values comes first just put that node first that will just make sure that this set is sorted by uh, the score values which is the which is val in this case so hope the approach is clear if you have any doubts uh, in the solution uh, just ping them in the comment below i will definitely answer it if you have any suggestions for for the future videos uh, do mention in the comment i am regularly uploading uh, the different questions of interview experiences you can watch the interview experience playlist as well i will link them in the description below If you like the video do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I am regularly uploading videos of this lead code contest as well as interview experiences of lead code and I will see you tomorrow thank you